Hello and in this video I'm going to show you how to customise the wallpaper on your iPhone. So let's go through some basic steps. So to start customising the wallpaper on your iPhone, you need to unlock your iPhone and hold your finger on the lock screen. You'll be presented with a screen similar to this. So here we can view all our wallpapers, quickly make one as the active wallpaper. We can add a new wallpaper down here or from here and we can customize this selected wallpaper so let's quickly add a new wallpaper we get some presets here but let's just add one quickly we'll just add this one we get two options which we will come back to in a bit so now we have two wallpapers. To delete a wallpaper, you have to have more than one available. So we can now swipe up and we are presented with a delete option. We can now delete that and that is how you delete a wallpaper. To add a wallpaper, we can either go to the end of our wallpapers and click add new so we are presented with some presets we will add a new wallpaper with photos we can select the photo that we want we can pinch to crop and get the photo exactly where we want it like that if you want to change the photo you can do so down here we also get some options of filters swiping through. We get color wash and duo tone, which can be styled with color. You can do that by clicking the three dots in the bottom right, just like that. However, I'm going to stick with the natural one. At the top, we get cancel and add. Here we get the date, Wednesday the 12th of July. If we click that, we can add a widget to this. So let's say we add activity. So now we get the date in short form and to the right of it, we get uh, a widget which we selected, which was activities. Let's say we did the weather, which for some reason is not working let's have the calendar instead so you can customize that based on your needs we can change the the font of the time by clicking it we get a range of fonts to use like so we can also change the color and the saturation just like that and we can also add some widgets to this so here are some suggested widgets we can scroll through and have a look to see what we have if you have some, some third party apps you will have a few more options but for now let's add the battery widget we get two types of widgets a small one and a large one the large one we can only get two in this box the small one we can get four different types of widgets so we can have that and that so you can get four of these ones you can only get two of this size so I'm pretty happy with that so we'll click add we get a choice to set as wallpaper pair or customize the home screen I'll click set as wallpaper pair for now and we will have a look on how you customize the home screen now to customize the home screen all we have to do is like before go back and go into the edit mode on the wallpaper we will click customize for the wallpaper that we want to edit and we will choose 
home screen. We get a choice of options. We get pair, colour, gradient, photo or blur. So in the minute it's on pair, which means the lock screen and the home screen are the same. However, at the minute, as you can see, this is blurred. We can turn that off just like that. And now we have our lock screen wallpaper exactly the same as our home screen wallpaper or vice versa. If you want to use a different photo, we can do so down here. Let's select this one. Again, we can pinch to zoom, pinch to crop. We can add filters. We can style the color. We can also add depth effect. So let's go for that. Wait for it to load. Again, we can blur it if we want, but this is a photo, so I want it in focus. We'll click done. And then we'll select this wallpaper so this is the lock screen swipe up and we have our new home screen wallpaper i hope you like the video thank you for watching